all right so um, in the previous two videos we have seen how we can um, set up our project structure and create a sample uh, web API with mock data now we will do the the actual stuff which is like connecting the MongoDB with uh, our application and then we will be rewriting our routes for the MongoDB okay so for this uh, we will be needing a library called mongoose the first library which we will be requiring here is called mongoose okay and um, mongoose npm yeah that's the library we will be needing this library it's um, mongodb object modeling where we will be creating uh, models for uh, our schemas or the tables which we will be creating in our mongodb database and the second thing which we will be uh, needing is mongodb okay that is something which we should have in our system we will install it locally and um, you can ju just go to uh, this community server okay and then you have to uh, select the current version as 4.4.3 because I, I will be using this and click on this platform windows and install this this msi package right and then click on download and then you will be needing uh, a compass since you don't need to separately install the compass because it's already inside this community server which you will be downloading but if you want to work with mlab mlab is uh, a dedicated uh, database hosting service provided by a mongodb where you can get free 500 mb when you sign up so for this you will only need the um, compass so i will be using the local version the community version because uh, it's just easy and you guys have to get the idea how things are working and how we can couple up things so um, the thing is that i have already downloaded here in all of these things and i have already installed this so i will just go and run mongodb compass which is something like um, which looks like this it's really easy uh, just notice that these are like um, 200 or 300 mb of files now the when when you are going to install this community server all you have to do is you have to select the in installation something as uh, install it as a service okay you should be careful about this once installed you, you don't have to do anything just click on this connect button and it will be connected to your local database currently we have all the three databases in our system the admin config and the local database okay now we will get back to our project we need to install this mongoose so we can um, do the we, we can make the connection to the database easily um, the first thing i will do here is i will open a new terminal and then just ls let me just um, make it clear i will write something like this here npm install mongos i will just copy this and then i will paste paste this here okay it didn't work anyhow I will just just type it by hand it's going to get back everything from the internet right so uh, mongos is installed in our system okay now just watch carefully and follow exactly uh, what you should also be doing okay so we have this project structure 
we we will only create um, few folders right now i will create a config folder which will hold the database configurations for me okay so here i will create a new file and what i'm going to do here is i will write this down down as database dot config dot js okay here i need to export the url which is like um which which we will use throughout our application so i will go like this module dot exports and then my url should go like this this will be mongodb localhost and it always runs on this port number if if you are running uh, on a different port so you can change this port for me it's 27017 okay and then you have to specify with which database it's going to connect right now i don't have my own database so i will create my database with something like youtube uh, api and the collection name is users okay then i will create my database so uh, i will give this name youtube api you can name it any database all right okay i will just save this my url is complete mongodb localhost um, 27017 followed by youtube api right now i will be needing another file which will be something like my database file which will which will be responsible for creating the database connection for me so i will name this as my db.js now i will in, uh, okay i will import the mongoose in first line then i will import um, what's this called um, my configuration file and it's uh, basically inside mm, all right it's already inside the here we have this config file um database.config.js right so we have here something like um, database dot config. Okay, I'm just gonna save this. It should I think it, it should work. It's um, why it's not going. Let me check. I was doing perfectly fine, but since uh, it was something wrong with the uh visual studio it was not taking me to that file because when i was going to import this mongoose um, it was it was displaying here but it was some glitch in this visual studio code uh, you can write like this or database.config it's up to you and and both of them will work 
uh, it is going to that file database.config.js file which means it has correctly um, imported that file okay now i have to i have to connect for this i will use mongoose.connect and here i will pass on my dbconfig.url okay and then i have to um, pass something like use new url parser it is mandatory you have to pass this here go on like this it's true now all i have to do is i just have to um, um say um these are two callbacks then which is successful and the kh if something uh, if some error happens so if everything is successful uh, i just want console.log successfully connected to database okay and um, if some error happens so obviously we will have an error object here so i just want to um, print out this error and with that sorry something went wrong okay and then i just want to exit from the process that's it and at the end i need to um, export uh, mongoose as is my module okay so uh, the first thing you will import the mongoose the second thing is you have to import the db config then pass on this db config url here if you don't want to create this db config uh, file it's perfectly fine don't worry about this you can straight away call your url here but since in a large enterprise applications uh, your project should be properly um, properly like um, each each component should be in its own place in its own folder and that's a good practice you, you don't have to um, like place your url and everything straight away in your code so because tomorrow if you want to change the url if it's changed so all you have to do is make a change in one place right and you don't have to worry about the rest of the application so it's done now we just want to check if it's going to connect to our database and we have to do this here uh, in our app.js file it's here and our app.js file we will call our database and we will go something like We can call it anywhere, but um, I will just call this here. Okay, I will just say constant mongoose and um, bring me that database from. And my DB, right? And if I click this. okay uh, okay config and db it's fine it's here uh, i have exported this here that's also fine and we have here okay everything is perfect now 
all I have to do is just run my application and see if my app is successfully connected to the database right so I will go to terminal and then I will hit on new terminal we have already a terminal here I'm just gonna close this then npm start perfect see we are successfully connected to our database right now I will just stop this now we need to create a model uh, since we are we were working in this users um, API and here I just need a username email and my age okay 